and now a story about people who depend on animals and the people who train those animals to be dependable. An organization called Canine Companions for Independence provides highly trained dogs to people with a variety of disabilities. You will be amazed at how much these dogs can do. It takes a special kind of dog to brave the crowds, traffic, and excitement of New York without getting ruffled. But for Nello, it's all in a day's work. That's because Nello's main goal is to make Elizabeth Preston's life just a little easier. Could I have a plain twist? Sure. Oh my God. Good boy. Oh, Nello is really my hands. When we go out into the city to go shopping, I have a tendency to drop a lot of packages and he'll pick them up. If there is something that's out of my reach, you can pretty much get it. Good boy. Thank you. And where exactly did Nello learn to do all these tasks? Oh, hi. Hi, you go. Good boy. Where we all learn new things in school. Good, good boy. Nello is a graduate of Canine Companions for Independence, a national nonprofit organization that breeds, trains, and places dogs with people with disabilities. At the Northeast Regional Facility in Long Island, New York, between 60 and 100 dogs are trained each year. When the dogs first come into training, uh, we have to work on very basic behaviors to stay, to come when called, to walk nicely on a leash. Once we've got those basic commands, we'll start teaching advanced commands, like retrieving items that people may drop, turning lights on and off, opening and closing doors, pulling wheelchairs. A dog must be at least a year and a half before entering this stage of the program. Until then, they are raised by local volunteers. Puppy raising is the largest part of our program. We need volunteers, families, individuals who are willing to socialize the pups and raise them until they're approximately 15 months old. Good, 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 nice. Good. Once in advanced training, the dogs, all golden retrievers, labs, or a cross of both, train intensely for six to nine months, learning 50 commands to assist their human companions. Jeff Brosi and his dog Jasper were placed together two years ago. While Jeff can take care of many of his needs independently, Jasper is always on hand to help. But canine companions don't only help with physical tasks. They also provide a valuable service that might not be as obvious, companionship. The emotional benefit of these dogs helps to explain why there's a two-year wait list for the program. 16-year-old Scott Pollock recently received his own canine companion, Judah. He's kind of like my best friend at home. Uh, I don't have a lot of friends around the neighborhood, so he's cool just to hang out with and pet and play catch. He's just an awesome friend. While Judah is trained to perform many tasks, the retrieval command is what Scott uses most. That's a big help. Constantly things falling on the floor, Judah is able to pick it up. Right now, I need him less because I have my dad and I'm very independent, but once I go to college and in the real world, I'm gonna need you to. No matter what the graduates of Canine Companions use their dogs for, the key word here is independence.